Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing a haul of some stickers and some washi that I've accumulated throughout these past few weeks. It's been a while since I filmed a haul and I've kind of been putting it off because there's just a lot of things going on right now. So I do have like a mixture of still Christmas stuff here that I haven't hauled yet and then some things that I plan to use um, early next year. So I'm really excited to share everything. Of course, I have a whole bunch of washi and yeah, let's go ahead and start there. Alright, so the first order I have here is by Rose Colored Days, and I was able to snag some of her washi overlays when she first released them, and I'm so excited to finally haul them so I can use them. In my order, she did include this foiled journaling card in silver foil. It's very pretty with the ornaments. And then as a freebie, I got this little sampler with her scripts in hollow foil, and then just some icons in her bows. Very pretty. And so these are the washies I grabbed. I wasn't able to roll out any of the washies that I'm gonna show you guys today because I'm in a little bit of a time crunch and I wasn't able to do that before I started filming. But I grabbed the gold, the rose gold, and the silver. And they are in like a twinkly dot design. So she has some dots and then she has like some twinkly stars in them. I think this is such a good idea. Instead of having it in sticker form, you have it in washi form so you can probably get a lot more use out of these than you would if you bought them like in a sticker form. Although I always will probably support shops who do. I just think this was a good idea. So I was happy to pick these up. So sticking with washi, I do have these two orders from Simply Gilded. This one was my pre-sale for the holidays and then this one was uh, when she came out with like Christmas releases. I still haven't opened this. I mean, I opened it, but I haven't like used any of these because I've been checking though. Every time I do a Christmas spread, I don't really have anything that quite matches with what I picked up. But I guess I'll start with my order from the pre-sale. I used some of this, I do believe. Although I use some, I do think that I put them all back so that they're in the same set so I could show you guys. All right, so first things first, it's this pretty journaling card. It's foiled in rose gold. This is so pretty. I love this pattern. I'm pretty sure this is the same pattern as her November box. I'm not sure if it was November, but I remember like these that I still haven't opened either. It's just been really crazy around here, but I love this. I think this is very pretty, so definitely keeping that. And then I got this little bow as a freebie. It's like a neutral bow with silver foiling. I think that would be pretty for winter. All right, so I didn't pick up all of the releases that she, or the pre-sales that she had. I just wanted to choose the ones that I would actually see myself using. So, or ones that I thought were really pretty that I could probably use every once in a while. Okay, where do I start? I feel like, did I have more mini bows? Like I said, I opened this, so I don't know if I put everything back, but let's start with the bigger ones. So I got this really pretty, like, turquoise. Well, on camera, it's coming up a lot brighter than what it is in person with silver foil. This would be, I would assume, perfect for winter time. I'm um, actually, her new releases come out tomorrow or today, if you guys are watching this on Friday when I upload. And there's one like this that's very similar, but with dots that I wanna get. I think this is just a really pretty color and I like the blue and the silver. And then I got this one because I don't know why, <laughs> but I really liked the deep purple and the light purple with the silver foiled bows. So these comes in sets, I'm, you know, you're not able to choose whether you just want the big one or the small one, you get both of them, which is fine. But usually me, I use the bigger ones the most. And I really like this one, this floral pattern, because it had light gold foiling. And that's my favorite foiling when she does her bows or her washi. So it's on a white background, I would assume, because I haven't rolled any of these out, and I'm so sorry, with some floral pattern. I think it's very pretty. It reminds me of springtime, so I'm excited to have that. I also picked up these mini bows, all in silver foil. So these came in a pack together. This is the one I opened up. I think I used this one. And I liked that they were in silver foil. There weren't a lot in silver, and I liked how she kept with silver foil for like her winter release. So you get that pretty blue again, which kind of looks like this one. It actually is the same. This hot pink and silver, a light like peachy pink and silver, and this navy and silver. Very pretty, and I love using these. Or wow, <laughs> I love using these. These are my favorite size, and um, these though are my favorite all time. And she's coming out with more colors, and I'm so excited. I do I already have this? No. Okay, so this is the first time she came out with a set like this, and her I think this is the candy colors, like her candy bows. 
I love these so much and I'm so happy that she's coming out with more with her new releases as well. So you get a pink and silver, yellow and silver, a green and light gold, which is perfect. And then that blue again, is it the same blue? It looks like it. I love this blue. I feel like I'll get a lot of use out of this one during the winter. I love these because with me, when I layer stickers on top of bows, I don't like doing that because then it cuts off the bow and you can't like, for me, what's the point with the dots though? I feel like you can still see them. So I love these, these are my favorite. So that was what I picked up from her pre-sales. And now moving on to her, like a release that she had a few weeks ago. So her Christmas ones, I, I would assume. So it looks like I got a lot of these bows, which is awesome. You usually get one and I got like, did I buy this? I may have bought this. I'm not I'm not sure. I would I think I did, but I'm not 100% sure. Maybe thinking about winter. I still don't know though if I'm going to do silver, if I'm going to do gold, but if I picked this up, that was probably what I was thinking about. I love this color pattern, especially love this pink. But as my freebie, I got this pink, which looks like this one. Yeah. So it's a very light pink. It almost looks like a neutral to me even. But when it's next to this pink, it looks pink. It's very weird. But yeah, awesome. Okay. I totally forgot I picked those up if I did. And then this little card is adorable. It just says sending warm hugs and it's foiled in rose gold as well. I love this. Those bunnies are so cute. My daughter would love this. I might give this to her. Okay, so I did the same thing. I know I didn't pick up all the releases. I was just looking at stuff that I knew I would use. So let's start with like the striped one. These remind me of candy canes. I haven't used these yet because I haven't done a red Christmas spread yet, which is crazy, but I love this. I love how they look like little candy canes. Yeah, like peppermint candy. And although I wish she would come out with red with just light gold foil, because I have a red and gold from last year and it also has the hot gold, which I'm not a big fan of, but I will still use it. So I picked those up and then I picked up these two snowflakes. I think this looks like a hot pink. It's coming off red when I look at it in the screen, but it's definitely hot pink. This one is gorgeous though. It's blue, but it ombres from like a dark blue to a light blue. I wish I would have taken the time to roll these out. I'm so sorry, but I love this so much. I was thinking about winter time. Also, I don't know what I was thinking. It was pink and I wanted it. You know which one I wish I had? It was one that she came out with last winter. It was like an ornament one. It was very, I don't know if it was like light purple or light blue with ornaments on it. I really wish I would have picked that up and I didn't. I don't know why. Then I got this bigger version of the snowflakes with a dark blue. Yeah, this one ombres too. It kind of looks like the same thing but this one definitely has snowflakes. Very pretty with silver foil, so I picked that up. And then the last thing I picked up were these. So I have the white, the like, her five millimeter bows, the white and gold, red and gold, which matches the red she had last year, it looks like it. And is this a green? I wanna say this is a dark green or a black and gold, which I thought was perfect for my Christmas spreads. So yeah, that was my order from Simply Gilded. So my next washi order is from Paca Post. I love shopping with Paca Post. Uh, they used to have their own website, but I recently discovered that they're back on Etsy as well. So whichever one you prefer to shop. And this shop is international to me, but I love her washi or his washi, I'm not really sure. But in my freebie, this is so pretty. I got this little journaling card. It says winter in Paca land. <laughs> That's cute. And then it has these little tiny foiled bows on them and silver foil. This is so perfect for winter time. I love the little quote as well. So I did a small order. They had new releases and I just picked up again what I would see myself using. So I picked up or I picked up a backup to this one because I used it recently and I fell in love with it. Also this order came in super fast. Uh, I think I got it within a week, which is crazy, like from when I ordered, especially considering that they're international. So I got this one. This is one of my favorite washies ever. I don't know if it's just the way it's ombre, but it's so pretty. And I picked that up in her gold foil. And then she came out with some new releases, but I only saw myself using this one. It's a hot pink with gold foil bows. I just thought it's very pretty. I love using these washies to layer on top of because again, because the bows are so tiny and they're in a pattern, you know, they're not just like one bow in a straight line. I can probably layer something on top and you can still see the bows. So yeah, that's my small order from Paca Post. Okay, so now starting to get into stickers. I've been holding on to this one for quite some time too. I think I got this back in November. This was my first time ordering from the shop. 
So the name of the shop is called Cozy Paper Co. And she does like these awesome deals every one Wednesday, I wanna say, where all her stickers, her foil stickers are a dollar each. Although they're very small, I think it's so worth it for the price. Now I do have to say the shop is international to me. I don't really remember where she is, but she is international. And it did take quite a while to get to me. So keep that in mind if you guys are wondering um, or if you guys want to order for a specific date, it did take quite some time. But having said that, I think for the price, it's definitely worth it to wait that long, especially if you're not in a hurry. I wanna say like a month and a half is like how long between I ordered and then she shipped, you know, cause she does have a process in time, which I understand, but just like the time it took after it shipped to get here was quite some time. So anyways, um, I think it's a great deal. I stocked up on a lot, even though it was my first time ordering. So I did get this freebie. It's in gold foil and it has some of her icons, quarter boxes, flags. I love, love the shape of this bow, which is what intrigued me in ordering from her. I don't know why, but I'm so in love with that shape. So that's the freebie. And then she had a few different colorways. She changes from week to week, as well as a few different icons. So let me get these in order. Okay, so I'll start off with some bow headers. Since I enjoyed the shape of this bow, I did decide to get some bow headers from her. And the first one I got was in this pink colorway with rose gold bows. Very pretty foiling as well. Um, you get two sets, which is fine. And I do have to say though that this pink is like, like a salmon pink, if that makes any sense. So it'll be hard for me to match. But like I said, every week she kind of changes the colors. And then I got it in gold foil. I think I got it in all the foils. Oh, so I got two in gold foil because I saw myself using that the most. And then these are the reason I purchased in the first place when I saw these is because I thought they would be very pretty in my Christmas spread. So I did pick up, was it two? Yeah, I picked up the two in gold. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I don't think I'm doing all bow headers, but I did want to have that option. And then I picked it up in red and silver just in case I had any silver Christmas spreads. I did pick up the pink and silver as well. Very pretty. I love the shape of these bows. They're very dainty, but very, I don't know. They're just cute. Then I picked up these quarter boxes. I got it in the, so you get six quarter boxes and then down here, down here you get bow icons. They're cut in circles. I don't, you guys probably can't tell, but it's like a circle icon with a bow, which I, which I thought was very good use of the space in the bottom. So I picked it up in pink and gold. This red, this red is so pretty. Cause if I don't use it now, I could probably use it Valentine's day or some other time, 4th of July. So. There's that, and then I got the pink and silver. And then I picked up these flags, which now that I see them, they're not big enough to fit the corners of the Erin Condren, which is why I got them, because I usually don't use flags in my the way I plan. So I picked them up in red and gold, uh, the pink and gold again, and then the silver and gold. So I picked it up in all the colors I thought I would use. But the icons though, I picked them up in all the colorways that she had. I just didn't pick up this green or this blue or this green because I didn't see myself using those colors often. So yeah, okay. So I got these icons. I love these icons so much. I got, look how tiny it is, it fits in my hand. But you get so many on a sheet, which so I don't mind at all. And it's a pretty good size icon. So these are her laptops. I got the pink and gold foil. Then I got like this, turquoisey blue it's definitely a unique color probably why I picked it up because I don't have any stickers in those colors so and then I did pick it up in the green again this is a good green just thinking about Christmas because I don't usually play them with green but that means I don't usually pick up green stickers so I did want to have these in my collection and then I picked it up in the red and gold I love how this red and gold looks together it's I love it so much then she had these envelopes Again, a pretty nice size icon, but you do get a lot to the little sheet. So I got it in pink and silver, the green and gold, the pink and gold, this blue and gold, and then red and gold. Then I picked up these nail polish bottles because they're adorable with a little bow on them. So again, I got them in green and gold, blue and gold, red and gold, and pink and gold. And then I guess I got them in pink and silver because I do get my nails done often and so I picked it up in silver I didn't pick a lot of these icons up in other foils because 
it adds up. <laughs> but I did get these uh, laptops. I think these are very cute laptops or computer screens. So I got it in the green and gold, red and gold. Oh no, that was a blue. This is the green. And then the pink and gold. So yeah, aside from the wait time, I was very happy with my order and like the foiling and everything for a dollar. You can't beat that. And again, she does this every Wednesday, so I'm sure a lot of people order, which is why you would wait a little bit longer for the processing time, but it's definitely worth it. So yeah, that was my order from Cozy Paper Co. Okay, so my next order is from Simply Watercolor Co. I did have my monthly in this order, but I already used that, so I couldn't wait because I, I did film that. But I did want to show you guys this kit I picked up uh, around the same time. So I don't remember what the name of this kit is called, but it's so pretty to me. It's a birthday kit, but it's not. Like, if you don't use this box, you could... Well, there's this box and this box. Never mind. It's a birthday kit, but it's so pretty, and it's like photography and then not photography kit. It's, I don't know, I thought it was very unique. I think this is foiled in her rose gold. This full box says there is beauty and simplicity. This is one of my first times ordering like a full kit in her Prima Matte, which is very nice and soft. So yeah, I love these full boxes. This pink just got me. And this box I love so much with the pink rose like frosting cake. I think it's very pretty. I pick up birthday kits uh, along the year. I don't know, I just like to have my options. To be quite honest, the only week I would probably do like a birthday spread for would be my daughters, myself, but that always is Christmas, or my husband. So I don't know. I just like buying them. I love this one, so I picked it up. And then this page, you have your checklist, icons, a half box, habit tracker, some page flags, which are, is in the like pattern of that cake frosting, which is very pretty. Um, what are these? Patterned washi, no, pattern headers and some deco. These are your full box checklist along with a weekly tracker, some scripts, and some of her bows. And on this page we have your headers, a movie marquee, some flags. You got two like small, three her checklists, and her littles. This is reformatted, so this format is new for me. Here are your date covers. Your bottom washi, which is very pretty, it says, never regret anything that made you smile. I love that quote so much. And then here is your extra or your second habit tracker. And on this page, we just have your half boxes, her quarter boxes. I love, I love these big washi strips with the floral pattern. Um, more like labels and, pay, and like flags, like uh, quarter box flags. And then you have these bow headers. So yeah, I love this format. I think it's a nice format. So yeah, that was my kit from Simply Watercolor Co. But then during one of her Simply Foiled Tuesdays, I did pick up some of her stickers that she had available then. Get this out of the way. So in that order, I have this freebie. I'm sure I had a freebie in the other one, but I opened it to use my monthly. So I'm sure like I took it out. But here is the order of, or the freebie. You got like these Sharpies, uh, Simply Watercolor Co. new releases, some bow flags, and then a paper clip and a washi, or like a washi stack. It's very pretty. And then I picked up some of her, I think she threw these in, okay. So she definitely did. All right. So she threw these in, which I'm very grateful for. These are very pretty. These are her bow quarter boxes. They're foiled, I want to say, in rose gold. It's very hard for me to tell her rose gold, but I'm sure this is rose gold. And then these eyelashes in gold foil. This is so cute, like to mark getting your lashes done or sleeping in. And these date covers, these bow date covers are like white. Very pretty. I love the font on these. So there's that. So what I ordered, she had like her pink icons. I have some of these icons, which one's it? The coffee cups, but it's not in pink. And when she brought it out in pink, I was so excited. So I picked up her laptops with her, well, in gold foil in the pink colorway. I love these pinks. You got like light, like ombre. So a light pink to a darker pink, and then like a watercolor pink and just a neutral. It's not a pink, it's a neutral color, which I think is very pretty. So I got it in gold foil and then I got it in silver. Then I had to pick up these coffee cups because I use them all the time, but the ones I have are like a neutral color. I love that she came out, out with them in pink. So I got them in gold foil and silver as well. And then I picked up, did I? Maybe I thought these were kiss cut because I don't pick up circle icons, but these are her birthday kit. Wow, not kit, birthday cakes. So I thought they were very pretty. I got them in gold and in silver. And I think at the time she had these released, 
I think so. So these are the little bows or her little bows that you can layer on just about anything to make it foiled. But these have different shape bows. So every, you have three different shape bows and then the pattern repeats. So I like that you got like a different variety. I did pick up one in silver and then two in gold because I use gold the most. So yeah, that is everything from Simply Watercolor Co. My next order is from a new to me shop, which is called the Hummingbird Planner. And I got this kit because who, I feel like two people, like one person tagged me in it and then Kiki showed it to me because of the car with the tree. I'm obsessed with this car with this tree so much. And I ordered it and I just think the colors are so pretty. I'm so excited to use this. So again, the shop is called the Hummingbird Planner. It got here really quick. I did get this little sticker sheet as a freebie and it has a lot of functional stickers. I love these colorful kiss cut icons. There's a little Fitbit. Oh, I like that. It matches mine. Um, so yeah, you got like meal plans, school run, clean brushes, backpacks, and like these cleaning wine bottle. That's like a little shaker bottle like for your workout and stuff. And then an on-call, a sticker. I might have to check out her shop because if she has some of these individually, I would love them. I'm always on the hunt for like Kiss Cut colored stickers. They don't even have to be foil because now we can put foil on them with the little bows. But I love that, that's cute. Okay, and the colors are super vibrant. It is matte, so it's not like soft buttery kind matte, but it's a good matte. Okay, so do I have, okay, so this kit is called Christmas Tree and I got the deluxe kit and I'm so excited to use this. I think I'm gonna use this in my rewind, like in my B6 for Christmas week. So I got the glitter headers that match the kit. And then these are the full boxes. I love every full box so much. So this quote set is the most wonderful time of the year. I love like the fireplace in this house, like the front porch and the little tree or the little car with the tree is my favorite. I love how there's red and green, but there's navy. I'm getting really excited about this kit. <laughs> I really like it. Uh, and then here we have four quarter boxes at the bottom. I love that they're patterned. And here is your ombre heart checklist and four more quarter boxes down there. So here's the bottom washi. Not too crazy about the bottom washi, but that's fine. You do, what is this? Okay, so this is an extra part of the washi if you guys wanted to extend it. But I have to say I do love the size of her quarter, like her, what are these called? Washi strips, like the bottom ones are quarter box size. I do look for that when I looking, when or when I plan with kits, especially if I'm gonna use it in my main planner. So I like that. And then here are your headers and littles. Your functional page, so you've got your date covers. You have two sets of page flags. I love the size of these flag quarter boxes. I love this, like her font and the kiss cut and just how big these icons are, I really like that. And then you got circle icons as well. And then on the last page, you just have your half boxes, weekly trackers, checklists, habit trackers, bill dues, two tiny flags. And look at this weekend banner, it's so cute. Oh, I like that. That's different. Yeah, so that was my first order from Hummingbird Planner. I do like her layout a lot, so I'm definitely gonna go and check her out again. All right, so my next order is from The Giving Girl, and I love her packaging. I think I put this all back, ooh, it's backwards. So this was from a $12 Thursday, I think, I don't know, I can't keep track, where she does her kits for $12. I think it's $12 Thursday. Anyway, I love the way she packages her orders. And yeah, so let's start with the freebies. So I got this, like, it reminds me of winter, this color. It's like a very light navy. I don't know how to explain the color, but it's just bow icons. And then I did get this cute watchy card with the lashes. That's super cute, I love that, okay. I love how she gives that out as a freebie. So this is the kit I picked up, and I don't know when I'm gonna use this. It's very pretty. I know I picked this up for my Traveler's Notebook, so maybe I'll use it this week. It's very pretty. I love these full boxes. I love the way she foiled them with these stars. Every box is foiled. I especially love this double box. It's so pretty. And then we have her quarter boxes down here with the little scallops. Here is your bottom washi. So pretty. What is this? Oh, these are checklists. Her two like bow paper clips. I love this, the way she foils them as well. You got to do headers and don't forget and then date covers. 
yeah, I might use this next because it's very pretty. You have more quarter boxes down here and labels. Yeah, labels, appointment labels, half boxes. You have your ombre heart checklist. I love the scalloped ones. And this is just like a mini kit. So here is her page box and like these little bow dividers at the top three heart checklist, some scripts, checklist, bows, these like mini half quarter boxes, I don't know what to tell them. These look like littles and then habit trackers. These are very unique habit trackers. And then I guess now she's doing in every order, she have like this sheet of foil stickers and with date dots, a weekend banner, which I love the font, and just like icons, like clear icons and stuff. So yeah, that was everything from The Given Girl. I am kind of sad. I think she announced that she won't be doing full kits anymore because a lot of people like mini kits and I need a full kit when I'm planning in my Erin Condren. So that makes me a little bit sad. But I do love the way that she lay out her mini kits, especially for like a smaller spread for me, like my traveler's notebook. All right, so I have two orders here from Tasseled Planner that I'm very excited to show you guys. I'm gonna go with the one that I got first, which I think is this one. Okay, so the first order I have here was when she released my favorites, like this little sticker I'm about to show you. So I have this freebie I got, which is very pretty. It's a foiled freebie, which I love. I love the, I love this envelope, like how big it is. Anyways, you have your planner, coffee cup, washi stack, and an envelope. And then we have these stickers here. Sorry, I had to cut myself off because I can't sit like, I ha every time I sit, I have to sit kind of, like, Indian style because that's what's most comfortable for me. And my, like, fell asleep and it was horrible. But anyways, um, I don't know what I was saying before, but I know I didn't start talking about the stickers. So, I picked these up whenever these releases came out, which was a few weeks ago. And I love this. This was my collaboration with her with just some of my favorite icons that I like from her shop. And she had them in a few different colorways, which I'll show you in my next order. But these, she had just sent some to me, like, her like in a rush because I included some in my table mate gifts that's what I was trying to say so I have them in the pink which this is my favorite pink that she has in her shop and for sure all these icons I use probably on a weekly basis so I chose them carefully and it was very hard to narrow down so I got these in pink they do not come in red but I asked her to send them to me in red because I was thinking about my Christmas spread and I love this red as well it's such a rich red. So those are those, and I'm excited to have these. I think that's super cool. And then I was shopping with her just, I guess, preparing myself for winter. So I picked up a lot of icons that I didn't have in silver, including these headers. So these are her pixie dust headers, which are some of my favorite. So I picked them up in the pastel colorway with silver foil, and then in the blue colorway with silver foil. Just thinking about winter, my winter spreads. And then here are the icons. I picked up the TV ones in silver foil. And I picked up more of her planners in gold because I was running low on these. And same with the nail polish bottles. And then I picked up these tennis shoes in silver because I didn't have at all any silver like workout stickers. And these school bus buses, which I love like marking school events for my daughters. I picked them those up in silver, as well as these makeup brushes. And then I picked up the YouTube play button because in gold foil because I was running low. I use these a lot. And then I guess these were part of her new releases. So I got the blender in gold foil, which I love. One like one day. And I haven't gotten one because I just don't want to invest the money right now. But one day I really want a blender like this. Like a really good one. I don't bake that often, which is why I haven't. But I've always wanted one like this. But yeah. So I love this like to mark baking or cooking. And then you have these aprons which are adorable. I think you can mark these for like meal planning or cooking. Anything in the kitchen. and Or like a barbecue. That would be cute. And these scales. I really don't need a reminder, but I'm glad I have these stickers and this little piggy bank. So cute. Well, this is my all-time favorite. When she sneaked these to me, I was like, oh, you made like a little espresso machine, which is really cute. I think she did this because she recently picked up an espresso machine. But anyways, these are... They can be like cake cup machines, like her egg machines too, but I love this. Like a different way to mark going like to a coffee shop. So you got those. And then this is what I was excited about. So she did come out with these in her shop 
before she came out with these. So mine is basically like a tinier version, but I like that she had this option because not a lot of people can pick up all these different icons at once. And this is a good sampler to have if you guys wanna try out her stickers. I do have a code to her shop, so I'll link that down below. But she did fit as much as she could in here, which I appreciate it. And I like how these are different than her regular icons because these are all colored in, whereas these aren't. I like both of them, but that's what makes these different, which I love. So yeah, you get a good like assortment. You have laundry, stickers, planners, trash, washi, sleep masks, camera, cell phones, TVs, alarm clocks, cars, some wine time. I mean, there's a lot of different icons on this in the sticker. So she came out with them in different colors, and I got them in gold foil. So I got red and gold, this dark green and gold. Oh, this lilac is pretty. It's a lilac and gold. This gray and gold, a yellow and gold, wait, yeah, the light blue, this is pink, or like a light purple. This is like a lighter purple than the other one. Mint green, and then my very favorite, this pink. I like this pink from her. And then I did pick up more of her filming, these filming stickers, but in rose gold and silver because I didn't have those, so I have the... Well, she had two colorways, so I have this one in rose gold and in silver. And then the neutrals in rose gold and silver. These remind, this look like color palette reminds me of winter time. Then I got these in gold. No, I have them in silver. I think I pulled them to use them. <laughs> so I got it in gold and, or rose gold and silver, but I just have the rose gold. And then she did come out with these habit trackers, which I love these because sometimes I do look for habit trackers and I don't, well, I look at my leftovers because I save all of mine, but I think these are good to have. So she had them in a few colorways. I just picked them up in gold foil. So here are the pinks, the neutrals. Well, this is like an ombre of pink and this is just like her regular pink. This is my favorite pink. I don't know if I said that a million times already. Um, what else? So her pastels. The yellows, this reminds me of Christmas. <laughs> and this colorway was for fall time, so cool. And like this blue, aqua blue, cause it's not like blue, so it's like green. It's like a mixture of blue and green. And, cause these are her blues. And then the purples. So yeah, that was my first order from Tassel Planner. And now I'm gonna show you the second order, which I just got recently. So again, the same concept. I was just trying to pick up stickers that I had in gold or silver or rose gold, but I didn't have it in any other foil. So there's like a mixture here, probably of some ones that you guys, if you guys watch my plan with me's, have seen me use already, but I just didn't have that foil. Okay, so I got the same freebie that I got in the first order, and then I got these, they're clear overlay headers, but they have bows and dots. And then this is where I got a whole bunch, I think she threw these in, which I appreciate it, and all the colorways that are available in all the foils. I think that's what she did. So we have a pink. So this, she has a few different pinks available. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but you have like this pink, which is my favorite, then a more like peachy pink and a brighter pink. So anyways, I got it in gold. Let me just pick these up. Uh, lilac and gold, yellow. I think I wanted them all to be um, like the pastel colorway and then she threw in a gray, like when she was asking me what colors. So here's a gray, the light blue, the mint green, and more, more of those pinks. And then I got them again, but in silver. So you're able to choose what foil you want, which I think is awesome, but they're not in every color, just these that I'm showing you. And then the yellow and silver. I'm trying to go through this quick or else we'll be here a very long time. <laughs> but I love this. I thought it was so much fun to do this with her. I got it in rose gold as well. I love this mint with the rose gold. I think it's very pretty. The blue and then this pink. Cute. Okay. So I think I have most of my collabs to last me a while. <laughs> and then we have uh, some icons that I use a lot, which are the music like the music icons, but I didn't have them in rose gold. I always forget to pick it up in rose gold and I finally remembered. So I have the these in rose gold, the stethoscopes in silver, and then the blow dryer in silver. Sorry, these are kind of like thick, okay. Then I have 
the washi stacks. So I got them in gold before, but I wanted them in rose gold and in silver. And these desk icons, which I love so much in rose gold. These tumblers that I didn't have in any other foil. So I got them in silver. I don't know if rose gold is in here. Sometimes you just can't keep up <laughs> with what you choose. And then here are her meal icons with silver. I try to pick up a lot of silver because I know a lot of my spreads coming up will be in silver. I have these meal icons in gold. I don't know, did I not have gold? I wasn't sure. These sticker ones, I got it in rose gold. And I think I, I picked silver, I'm not sure. And these suitcases, cause I knew I didn't have any in other foils. Cause I, when I did my, my spread where I was traveling, I didn't have any suitcases in any other foil besides gold. So I got rose gold and silver. These printer icons, which I love to mark printing stuff. I got it in silver and rose gold. And then she sent, no, I got these too, yeah. So I picked these up as well in silver. These are like the ones I showed you before, the bigger assorted icon sheet, but I didn't have them in silver and I wanted them. So I got the yellow, this neutral color, this mint green, this pink, a brighter pink, Wait, this is the pink I like, because this is the brighter pink. I get so confused. This darker gray, I thought this would be, be really good for winter. A brighter pink, a light blue, purple, this peachy pink, and rose gold. So I only picked up a few in rose gold because I don't play in with rose gold kits that often, but I did want to have the pinks in rose gold because if I'm doing rose gold, Nine times out of 10, there's pink in there somewhere. <laughs> so yeah, that was my order from Tassel Planner. Again, I will leave my coupon code to her shop down below. I don't know why I couldn't talk there. So my next order is from Hello Petite Paper. So I picked up this winter kit because I'm so in love with this. This will probably be one of the first ones I use. I don't know when. In the winter time, like January, I love it. So I got some freebies, I'm so confused though. Okay, let me open this up. It looks like I got some of these die cuts, which is awesome. So these definitely match her, I don't know if there was like a special going on. I don't know, but I got these die cuts. These match her winter tan kit, which I do have, which I'll show you at the end, because I know a few people have hauled them, so if you guys weren't interested in seeing that, you can just be done with the video. But I love, her artwork for this kit and she, or her tan kit, she made it into a sticker kit, which I just had to pick up. So this is like a snow globe with the Christmas trees. This is definitely gonna be my winter setup. And like these little Ugg boots, you see like the bows behind, so cute. I'm definitely keeping that so I can use it in my setup. And then I got these, or a freebie. So you have a weekly tracker, these cups, which I have, they're so cute. Look at this little gingerbread person. That's adorable. This uh, movie marquee, a gift, and some flags. Cool. So this is where I'm confused. I think I picked up the glitter headers for this kit. Or maybe I thought these were it. I have to go back to my order and see. Because these say, let's stay home. Oh no. Let's stay home kit. This is called let's stay home. What is wrong with me? You guys, it's, it's just been a week. <laughs> It's been a week. Okay, so I got the deco sheet that goes with the kit. Isn't this so pretty? I love this mug, the bows. I love the color palette, like this gray mixed with this pink and mint green. It's so pretty to me. I love it so much. So is it just me or it doesn't really look like it goes, right? I don't know. I'm going to have to ask her because... I don't know, I'm so confused. But anyways, these are the glitter headers. It does say let's stay home, and the kit is called let's stay home. So maybe it was a mix up, I'm not sure, but uh, I got the glitter headers to match the kit, and then this is the kit. I love all these boxes, it's so, I love the way she does her kits so much. I got it in glossy, because I do like her glossy paper. These are the full box checklist. I love like summer patterned and some are just plain. And then, See, even like this gold is so different. Okay, so I have the headers. You have some glitter headers and then just some text headers. I love how her sidebar headers are patterned as well. Here is the bottom washi with a weekly tracker, washi strips, and a habit tracker. And then this is your littles and half boxes. 
And the final page, just have your checklist, flags, smaller flags, icons, paydays, some labels, build dues, and her weekend manner. So I definitely love the color palette in this kit. It's very pretty, and I'm very excited to use that in the wintertime. So my next order is from Scribble Friends Co. And I ordered one of her Valentine's Day kits. I got this as a freebie little journaling card with silver foil with her um, bow on it. And I was so excited when I saw this because I feel like this color palette for Valentine's Day is very unique. And it's very cutesy and like girly, like a little kid's Valentine's Day. And I love that because I have two little girls. And yeah, I think this mint purple... And like she added silver accents, which is so different. I love this so much. Okay, so we got this little freebie with a munchkin half box and then a quarter box that says SBC new releases. Very cute. And I did get the full kit. So here are the full boxes. This one says happy Valentine's Day. I just think it's very cute and very different. So I love these cake pops. Wow, cake pops too. Here are your deco like how cute is this deco with the handprints and then just basically some scribbles that's that's my life uh, my daughters or no my oldest can actually really draw but my youngest still does that little scribbles then we have your half half boxes <laughs> work labels page flags weekend banner which is very cute in that ombre color and a movie marquee oops here are your icons your extra full box which is adorable two squared off half boxes, icons, and her payday flag. Here is habit trackers, checklist flags, appointment labels, two three heart checklists, two weekly trackers, and her mini circle icons. And on this page, we just have more labels, bill dues, quarter boxes, and half boxes. I love, again, I just love the color. Here are your fancy labels, pattern washi strips, and headers. And then just plain, I guess, <laughs> um, or solid fancy labels, washi strips, and littles. Here are the Ombre Heart Checklist, which has like the glitter in between them, which I really like. And the final page is your bottom washi, her new date covers, which I really love. And oh yeah, another extra full box. I forgot she was doing that. So you get like a lot of boxes, a lot of, a lot of things to choose from. Um, I think that was it. Yeah, that's everything from Scribble Prints Go. My next kit here is from Planning World. I recently got this. I think this kit is so pretty. And I do plan on using it soon, probably to back plan this week, which is my birthday week. So this is a birthday kit. And it's foiled in rose gold. Very pretty. I did get the option to have the add-on with the bow. Bow. What are these called again? It's so late. <laughs> Uh, bow headers, right? Yeah, bow print headers. I love the shape of these and it came with bow flags and a weekend banner. Very cute. So this is the birthday kit. It's foiled in rose gold. It's so pretty. I love this dark purple with like this dark blue. I don't know why, but I love it so much. And I almost was going to use it in my main spread, but I decided to go with another kit. Here is the extra box in case you wanted to change the skin tone or the hair color, you get two of these as well. Oh yeah, for the same reason, skin tone hair color. So that's good to have those options. And then you do have a lot of this deco. This bow pen is so pretty. Here's the bottom washi. You get two, okay, so let me start. Let me just start over. Bottom washi, <laughs> date covers, habit trackers. Okay, so this is what I was gonna say. You get this, which I never understand these boxes, are we supposed to make our own? Oh, this would be a cute flag though. You know, like pointing to something. Maybe that's, I don't know. I've never seen someone actually plan with these kind. Like, do you put them together? You can use these as flags too. You know what I mean? I don't know. And then this is something else that confused me. At first I thought it was like an oopsie, but I went back and checked on her, on her pictures like uh, for this item. And it was just like this. So it's blank boxes. I might have missed something if she made an announcement. I don't know if we're, these are supposed to be checklists. So I don't know, cause she reformatted. So I don't know if we're supposed to put these inside of this. I don't really know. I don't really know. I'm just really confused. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. Am I supposed to put that in there? 
or because I need something to like I need something to guide me of where to write. You know what I mean? So these were supposed to be the checklists, or maybe still are. And then you have date dots, your checklist, circle icons, which are very pretty. If they have like a scalloped, they're cut in a scallop form too. Some arrows, and then these again. I don't, well, first of all, they're really big appointment labels, but they're cut um, into two individual ones. So again, I don't really know, cause I mean, you could use them and line them up, but it'll be a pain to do all the time if you wanna use one, I don't know. So there's that, but I don't mind as much cause then you do have these quarter boxes here and a whole page of these here. So. You can get, if you're like white space planning, you can get really creative with those. So I'm not hanging at all. Here are your quarter boxes and half boxes. I do have to say, I love these half boxes. They're foiled and they have the line in them. That's really pretty. And then ones that are patterned, but she did it the same way. I don't know. I've seen some like squared off completely. I've seen them rounded, but I've never seen them like that. Then you have your pattern washi strips in the bottom. And then I love this so much. So I did, like I said, get the option for this, but you can mix these if you don't want it all bows because these come with the kit already. So you don't have to have these or add these on. But yeah, I love that so much. And then you have a whole bunch of quarter boxes down here. So I do like her new layout a lot, especially now after I saw all the quarter boxes in the back. I'm just not sure about the checklist. Let me know what you guys think. So yeah, that's everything from Planning World. Okay, so my next order is from Station Stickers who recently opened back up in November, which is when I bought this. It did come to me in time. I, like I said, I've just been holding on to these, these stickers for a while. And she recently reformatted her kits as well. It's very interesting the way she reformatted. I loved her format before. Uh, I love that they already came foiled, but I can see how being flexible with what you wanna foil, maybe a lot of people don't like foil in all their boxes, or maybe they just like foil on some boxes and not all of them, didn't, didn't I just say that? Or maybe they just don't like foil at all, you know what I mean? So I can understand the flexibility. There's no extra cost to get everything that I'm about to show you in the kit, but it, it she made it in a way that you can customize it a lot, so I like that, okay. But I didn't mind her layout before either because I love the way she used to foil her kits. It's st still the same foil, they're just overlays that you put on top. So this is the kit I got. I love this artwork, it's been going around a lot and I decided to get it from her shop. I just love this. Ray Dunn is where it's at for me. <laughs> I love Ray Dunn, I love farmhouse, I love that kind of aesthetic and look. So yeah, I love this so much. And especially for winter time, it's definitely something different for me. Then we have quarter boxes at the bottom. You have your ombre hard checklist along with a weekly tracker and some flags. So here we have glitter headers. This is the only thing that kind of, I was kind of sad about because you get four full boxes or half boxes. Okay, you get four full half boxes and then you get four of the mini because they're too big to be quarter boxes, but they're not big enough to be half boxes kind of thing. And I plan no white space, so I kind of like at least five of my boxes, especially from Monday through Friday, to be the same size. <laughs> so uh, that's the only part that would probably like stop me from ordering again. I'll have to make sure that I have this color palette like in extras, you know what I mean, to supplement for that one box that's not there. Definitely not a deal breaker, but definitely something for me that would make me think twice. And this is just personal preference for the way that I like to plan. You do get four appointment labels and four more quarter boxes at the bottom. Here we have your headers, littles, and then quarter boxes. I like this. She added way more quarter boxes now than she had before, which I think is fun. You do get some deco and a movie marquee. It's just that, oh no, you get two of each. Okay, I'm like, why do we only have one today header in each color? But you do, they're just mixed up. I like that, okay. So here's where it gets interesting with the overlays. So we have these strips, which I'll explain in a little bit. Habit trackers, bottom washi, which is cut into two strips and just plain washi strips. So the idea is you get to pick your foil and this will come with your kit, so it's not extra. And 
yeah, I, you can pick silver, rose gold, or gold, whichever one you feel like would go with the artwork. I chose silver because it's winter time. I think rose gold would have worked really pretty with this kit as well. So the idea is you just layer these overlays on top of the washi strips, which I think is pretty cool. So the only thing is I wish she had her regular weekend banner. It's just, just personal preference. So anyways, these boxes here are for your date covers, which are on this box. So you just overlay them over here and you use them. Yeah, you put them over here and those are your date covers. You, so you get overlays for flags, your bottom washi, you got a weekend banner, you have some script. Okay, so these script ones are meant to go on these plain little thing headers if you wanted to have foiled sidebar headers. That's what these are for over here, which I think is pretty cool. I'm excited to play with this layout nonetheless. So I think it's a pretty cool concept. Now, she did do a pull on this. So, you know, clear stickers, a lot of people like them. I originally liked her other freebie where it had the colored foiled backgrounds, but that's just my personal preference. Again, I never really use those icons a lot anyway. So I'm just giving you guys my opinion. And these overlays here are for your full boxes. Now, what I do like is they're not all the same. So the patterns are different. Some you have the whole box foil, some just the corners, you know what I mean? Some they're just all a little bit different. So you can put them on your full boxes or on some and save these for a different spread. So yeah, that was my order from Station Stickers. So my next order is from K Glam Co. I don't know if she was doing a sale, maybe a wild collab sale, yeah. I don't know, but I got a whole bunch of freebies. So let me go ahead and open up the freebies first. I'm just going to flip through them really quick because there's so many and I'll name the shop that they're from. So these are from Palm and Oak Paper from plannerbomb.com. And the, yeah, exclusive wall collab Black Friday. Oh, Black Friday, okay. So they were doing something here. I don't, oh, this is from Blue Scooter Press and then Gucci Project. The Gucci Project on Etsy. Did I get two from her? No, but they're like the same colors. <laughs> One from Planertopia. This is definitely vinyl paper. Oh, this is very soft. No, this isn't vinyl. It's like vinyl matte. Oh, it's very soft paper. I like her paper. Oh, I got this foiled. It's foiled in purple foil from Charlotte's Paper. This from Gabriella Elena Designs. I love the texture of her glitter. This is by Crafts by Doralia, Doralia, Doralia. That's very pretty. And this one is from Simple Southern Mommy. I love how it's shaped in like a mason jar. This one is by Addie Bell and Co. Her paper is nice too. It's very thick, like matte, like vinyl. This one's by Azalea City Planning and Small Town Grace. I did not know that I would be getting all these freebies. <laughs> I just like the kit. Uh, this one is from Let's Plan It. And then this is a little journal and card, which is cute. It says Dream Big, Sparkle More, Shine Bright from Scenic Ser Serenity. It's cute. Treasures by Taylor. And then this one is by Planner Fairy. So I got like all that. I don't know if I was one of like the first however many orders, but I thought that was pretty cool to have those. And then I got this kit as a freebie, which again, maybe it was like a special promotion. So I have order from Kate Glam Co before and I absolutely love her paper. Her paper is so soft, I love it so much. So I got like a little scratch off card, which I love scratch offs so much, it's kind of bad. I don't know what this kit is called and it doesn't say, but it's very bright, it's very pretty, it reminds me of the summertime. I got this little freebie, I love her icons so much, I, lo I just love it. Uh, script, is this a full box or a washi strip? It's so hard to tell. So an extra full box, habit trackers and checklists and bill dues. And then I like how she gives you the option of two weekend banners, weekly tracker. I love her squared off boxes so much. Quarter boxes, half boxes, and three three heart checklist. Here are your full boxes. This is such a fun, like fun kit uh, with this green. It kind of reminds me of St. Patrick's Day too. And then here are your quarter boxes down there. And then I think this is a mini kit. Here is your bottom washi and washi strips. Love the size of those. But the reason that I order is she sneaks this kit uh, on Instagram. 
And I fell in love with everything about the way she did this kit. And I'm so excited to use this for winter as well. Again, her paper is so soft. If you haven't checked her out, you definitely should. Here are your icons. Is that a TV? That's such a cute TV. It kind of looks like a TV, but then it kind of looks like a microwave because it looks like a can is in there. I don't know. These are definitely TVs though. <laughs> um, I love this little recording sticker. It's so cute. I just love her icons. Again, your extra full box, habit trackers, checklists, and bell dues. And I just absolutely love the color palette of this kit. The patterns, I just love it so much. So here's the weekend banner. How cute is that? Or you like you get two options. Headers, uh, well, it's like kind of like the same layout. Quarter boxes, weekly tracker, half boxes, and three heart checklist. But here are the full boxes. There was like two different full boxes like that you can choose from. She did two different like versions, I wanna say. But I love this so much. Like the kitchen and the gingham, gingham pattern. I can't say that word. <laughs> to save my life this little sugar tea and flour this window like every box that she did I love it so much and yeah there's an extra full box too I mean I love this then here are some like plain washi strips here's the bottom washi how pretty is that some deco and then washi strips and then here are more half boxes. So this is the full kit. You got half boxes, quarter boxes, date dots, and two sets of date covers. I love how she gives you a lot of options. Here are your headers and littles. And your Amber Heart checklist with more quarter boxes. I'm so excited. Like this pink with chocolate brown, gray, and blue is giving me all the winter vibes and I love it so much. I love this kit. It's probably one of my favorites for the winter time. So yeah, that is everything from K Glam Co. So we're almost done. We have this order and then the TN kit. So this next shop is one of my favorite shops, Lexi Kylie Designs. I love her shop because I feel like she does artwork with the not so popular artwork. So at least like when I shop with her, I feel like I don't see that artwork anywhere else or she changes it to make it look very different. But yeah, I fell in love with this. She brought it out as a monthly and I asked her if she would do a weekly and she said yes. So here we are. Here is her business card, very cute. And she's on Etsy. Here's a freebie I got. I think it's cute, like this little gingham pattern. I can't even say that word, so I'm not even gonna try. The little checkered pattern is cute. <laughs> and the coffee cup, I love this. Okay, so here's the kit. It's what I have. Okay, so it's called Love Sick. I picked up the whole thing. And I love this so much for Valentine's Day. So we have your weekend banner. She also has icons, which I absolutely love so much. And she also has the very soft premium matte paper. You have an extra full box here that says, I have always known it was you. I just love the pattern or like the colors and the florals. Two habit trackers and your checklist. So here you have weekly tracker, bill dues, a get it done box of some labels. Then you have all these half boxes, quarter boxes, and some headers. I call these sidebar headers because that's what they are. They're for the sidebar. Then we have these full boxes. So this says you make my heart smile. I am in love with this full box here. This is why I bought this. And like how rich the purple and blue and green are and how she mixed it with all these different patterns I love. It's so pretty, I love this. And you have two quarter boxes at the bottom. Then we have your bottom washi, washi strips, and glitter headers to match your kit. I also like her glitter header texture. Isn't this so cute? Like these florals are so pretty. You have your full box checklist, your weekly tracker, an extra habit tracker, and two washi strips. I also love her format. Then here, I feel like this is different. This used to be smaller like her date covers. You get date covers, date dots, and a deco weekend banner, which is very pretty too. And like some script words down here. I feel like she reformatted some of this because I don't remember all these boxes, but I love it. More half boxes, quarter boxes, labels, and then you have six headers down here and three washi strips. And then here we have your headers. Yeah, because this used to come in just one box, like a tiny, like a smaller box. Littles and more headers as well. So yeah, that is my order from Lexi Kylie Designs. So my final order is this tan kit from Hello Petite Paper. So if you guys have already seen this and you don't wanna see it again, thank you guys so much for watching. But if you haven't, I love this kit so much, like the pattern. 
And I got the whole tan kit when she released it, so I'll start with the papers. You get one, two, three, four, five, six sets of papers. Very good, like, sturdy papers. I love it so much. So the first one we have this pattern was, I want everything with this pattern. Isn't this cute? Like the mittens and the boots and the coffee, like hot chocolate. I love it so much. And the bows. And then on the other side, we have like this gray snowflake pattern. This one we have, okay. I thought it was the right way, then it wasn't. So I like this one too. Just like these two together for me, gives me all the feels. But I love this pattern with the bows. And then in the back, you have like this big, mint green floral pattern. Then here we have just pink and white bows. And on the back we have these stripes. And then this one we have the snow globe with the bows and the, oh, I love this so much. And on the back it's just blue, like light blue snowflakes. And then it looks like I got two of these. So I got two of these. So it's a pink and white snowflake. And in the back we have the mittens and the bows and the hats. Cute. Okay, so that comes in the tan kit, and then you get like some dashboards and some die cuts. So these die cuts are made with really good, like they're really good quality. So I'll go through them. I have this little cup and these little boots that you saw in the freebie before with her kit. This hat, how cute. This bow, and then this vase of flowers then the snow globe which i love so much and then you got like this little bow divider i forgot what you got like a bow bookmark there we go a bow bookmark <laughs> and then the journaling cards oh so i forgot about these you also get like bow tabs i'm glad she labeled them because i forgot they were called that's cute i might use them these time bow tabs so I love these journaling cards because they're foiled. Let me zoom you guys out just a tiny bit. Because they're all foiled and I love how she did it. So, and you guys know I love this pattern. So it just says, hello winter. So cute, I'm so excited to do my setup. Ooh, they're double-sided too. That's cool. Look at these bows, you guys. I love it with the dots. And then other side is the snowflakes. These are, are these, these are all foiled. This is, I didn't open this yet. This is the, what is this called? I forgot what it's called, you guys. The snow globe, the snow globe. I love how she folded it with the stars, like they're in the sky. And then this one says, let's stay home. Did I show you guys the back of that? There's the back of that. This one says, let's stay home. And then there's the back. I love how she gave you some options. She did also, like in the kit, it did include like an insert, but I actually have it in my planner right now. So let me show you guys. Also, I got a new planner. It was a gift from a very nice subscriber, which I can't thank her enough. I moved into it right away. So my things might look a little bit differently, but I wanted to show you the insert. So I put them in here because I felt like they went so well and they're just a grid. I'm like practice. I was practicing. I was practicing with some pens, okay? There's some grids, and that's the back of it. So I think her kits are really nice. I love picking up her kits because I do enjoy how she puts them together. And I feel like with these, you can always, you don't have to stick with the kit. You can mix and match, you know, with your own papers and make it your own style. So yeah, that is everything from Hello Petite Paper. And yeah, this completes my haul. All right, so that completes my haul for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Like I said before, I am going to go ahead and link all the shops that I mentioned down below. I hope you guys are having an awesome week, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.